And I'm going to show you, where, show you where all your power is in your body. Put your finger right up here. That's your analytical mind. That's where none of your power is. This is where most of you operate an entrepreneurial seizure, right? This is the analytical mind. All of your power in your body is right down in here. Because any time that your body goes into fight or flight, <gasps> get a couple of boards, Dean. Anytime your body goes into fight or flight, when someone says, what's this about? And if you go, <gasps> your body's going into fight or flight. It means in your neurological network, you've gone into your analytical mind. Now I'm going to show you today how you can be in your power. There's a difference between power and force. This is how a lot of people try and become an entrepreneur. By God, I'm going to make myself do this. Take a look at how the body operates. It's like this. I'm going to, I, I, I'm going to do it today. I'm going to do it today. See, the, the, the mouth clenches like this, and you're going to make yourself do what is already painful. Now, if you can teach yourself how to pl have pleasure and be in your power, this is the difference between power and force. This is force. Just experiment with this. This is force. Now, watch this. This is power. Now, change this. Just let your hand drop. What's the difference? Come here, Dean. Two boards. Here's how most males will break a board. They'll break a board with their ego. <laughs> now that was force. That, that's not, well, that wasn't good, was it? I mean, you broke the board, you achieved the goal, but do you want to achieve the goal by burning all of your energy? Because in this game, it's important that you learn in your emotions. You have emotions that are not high and not low, but you learn your power is in your peace. Now, if you can just break a board like this, or just like this, and there's no, there's no force, and you do it by just taking a breath, and this is also how you neutralize your anxiety. See, it's not fear you go into. Your neurological network is connected to all of these emotions that take you into anxiety, and it's the very reason you procrastinate. You just want to be able to go, oh! What was the difference? My feet never moved. What was the difference? 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 What was the difference, Ross? The board was broken by this. Ah! Ah! That's, that was the difference. Ah! That was the difference. See, it's not like this. This is an ego. This is the analytical left brain that says, I'm going to make myself do, which is painful. But if you can actually go, if you ever feel yourself going into that hazy wave that with the tighten, you start to tighten up like this, that is your analytical mind. That's your neurological network taking you right back to the cell memory that's connected to your past. Being free enterprise is about living in the present. Yesterday is history. Tomorrow's a mystery. Today's the present. When your eyes fluttered open, if you listened to the electronic heart shocker that woke you up, the alarm clock, or if you had the electronic income reducer wake you up, that would be the TV. But if you actually get comfortable enough with yourself where your body is in a routine that you're so comfortable with who you are, it's who you are, not what you do, because that's where you learn to turn a vocation into a vacation. If, what you, if you're like this, ATT, ATT is not a phone company. It means ATT, it means all the time. That doesn't mean you work. That means all the time you're in your creativity. The reason that many of you aren't succeeding is because you're trying so hard that you're doing nothing. And you're trying so hard in your head that your body is not in the game. And unless, you're, unless the whole game is in your body, see, if, if, if you're all up here, you will absolutely wear out your immune system. You will absolutely drain your adrenal system. And instead of resting at night, your body will toss and turn because it's constantly in fight or flight. Most of what you think is about how you've been conditioned. We've been conditioned to get educated. We've been conditioned to memorize a set of information that disempowers us. And fear is easy to find. All you have to do is pick up any newspaper in the world and it will sell bad news. Enough fear is dripped on us to keep us disempowered. And see, it's not really fear, it's mostly anxiety. Your neurological network is connected to anxiety. It means your body goes into fight or flight. The next time your body goes into fight or flight is a very Simple exercise, right, Ross, that you can do? All you do is breathe. <gasps> Anytime you breathe, and not from here, not like, because <gasps> that's where you're already in fight or flight, right like this. <sighs> now, if you start to teach yourself 
how not to use, but how to live. You don't want to use energy, you want to live in energy. As you start to teach yourself how to live in your energy, you're going to attract a whole different type of person to your game. See, when you understand that this whole situation that you're playing in is bigger than money, you'll play this game like it's the game of your life. Once it's in your blood, and I'm not talking about business, I'm talking about life. I'm talking when you understand that this game is about a whole planet that's been disempowered and you're part of this purpose that says, hey, I'm a difference creator. Notice I didn't say maker. A difference creator. I'm a difference creator. You'll find people who seek to step out of their differences. We are a series of walking contradictions and you can start to live much more one with, what am I going to attract? What are, what are you going to attract? The kind of people who deserve you is exactly what's going to happen.